Oh boys, boys and girls, it's been a terrible week of training, I'm not going to lie, I'm still coming off the back end of last week where, if you watched last video, it was a pretty, uh, you never know what's going to happen out here man, you never know what's coming next. Well it just knocked me out my stride man, even down to today, just eating my first bit of food too close to this session and I'm just burping up a concoction of pineapple banana and oats and protein powder it's like stupid man just gotta start switching on I think that's yeah that's probably it man right there it's just ready to come up at any more point Oh, that's the smoothie noise. <laughs> We're still getting there, man. We'll have a look and see what's going on today. I've cut it down. I've honestly cut the coffee down. It's um, one a day, but two days a week, two a day. And I just, that's just emergency. Like last night was, um, yeah, man. Can't get to, can't get Lana to sleep, dude. But anyway, welcome back. That coffee is fifty baht, which I'll put that on the screen. It's one pound off the top of my head. One pound twenty, fifteen, and it's very good. You know what I mean? That's um, I don't. And even now, I'm just comparing to British pounds, where I've not been back for ages, man. It's five years. It's five years. I ain't got a clue what quid gets you at home. Not much I hear though. Quid is one pound for the Americans. One dollar. Um, yeah, this t-shirt is Dew's seven month pregnancy t-shirt. Fits me quite nicely. Um, now that's the one thing I love about living in Thailand. And again, nobody cares man. Nobody cares what you're wearing. You can just like, you probably get hammered for wearing that, wouldn't you? Well, you'd get absolutely hammered. But, um, I just wear anything, man. It's, it's, and nobody says anything. I love that. I just love that a lot. Um, but yeah, man, we're cooking. We're cooking today. Berry Big Arms. The name got Strawberry approved. Big Arms. Strawberry Big Arms. Berry Big Arms. Not Berry Builder. No, not Berry Builder. Berry, Berry Big Arms. Arms. Yes. Some cup. Could be cup. He's on the uh, new program, you know? Oh, come on, guy. That's it. Oh, he's only 17. So he's gonna get on the Berry Big Arms, and we're gonna we're gonna transform the rig, aren't we? Arnold Schwarzenegger, you know? <laughs> Headshot. Boom. Bless you. Come down here and there's no there's no electric, so that means no fans. So that means 35, 35 degrees, man. It's that period of time it's just finishing rainy season and transitioning into cold season. That translate to humid as shit season and it's just wiping me out man. I've got the remnants the remnants from the parents still being here. It's when it's in the house, man, it's uh, it's tempting, you know what I mean? It's just like, good job it's red hot. If that was in the fridge cooling, you never know, man. You never know, you could have a couple of little dust busters. Hey, up, what are you doing? What are you doing? Oh, look at my bike, Lani. Oh, look at it. My bike. Look at it, it's all dusty and sad. Should we clean it, me and you? Okay. Yeah, good idea, let's clean it. I'm just gonna eat some pumpkin and eggs and then we're gonna clean it, okay? Promise? Come here, promise me. Is it? Come here. We've got no power down here, we're sweating the tits off. We're us two, aren't we? We're not full tight, are we? 0 0.5 between us. We're sweating, aren't we? Struggling, but that Northern what's European blood flowing through our veins. What's this? What's this? What's 
Oh. Who's that? that that's, that's Nana and Grandad. Say hey, help. Happy with that. Very happy with that. I think there's like three or four, no, two or three different pumpkins you can get in this region. And whichever this one is, it's the best. It's the closest to potato. That's the one. I just don't know the difference on the, when they're not cooked. So I'm just in the market doing my best. You know what I mean? Just doing my best, trying to find it. You know, you know I'm rolling round with daddy shades on round town. Boom, I'm just dad mode. To be fair, I've not got my jorts on, so not full dad mode, but we're 90% of the way there, you know what I mean? Bless me. Oh, I'm hammering that on, I'm sorry, apologies. Let me know if you're saying it now as well. <laughs> I know some of my guys in the in my coaching group as well. The where we at, man? Bless you. <laughs> Apologies. Apologies. But we're, we're we're in it together, man. Now we're in it together. Um, oh man, the aircon. And I said, right. I'm I'm top now, aren't I? I'm revved up. I'm just revved up here, dude. Where's my phone? Sorry, man. I'm revved up, and I'm just talking absolute. But. As you heard, man, I wanted to clean my bike then, but the power's off was just tending to Zila. That's my excuse anyway, but I'm gonna get, I'm, I was getting up early anyway to do the bike, indoor bike. Just check the weather. We've got no rain forecast for today and tomorrow. We've got a storm coming in on Sunday though. Um, so I am gonna get on the bike. I'm gonna get up the same time Sun rises at 6.05 a.m. And I'm going to be hitting that sunrise ride. But I probably still have to get up around like 4, 4.30 because I've not ridden my bike for, well, a long time. And I know a lot of stuff going on. And that could even be me getting up, trying to fix it up, and then realising it's a no-go, which would be very upsetting. But I've got good... And I won't be going far, man. Obviously, Zila's only two and a half months and the bike's been out of action. So, I, but I'm just going to do, I'm going to lean, yeah, I'm going to shine my Chinese roller up big time. Big time. I've got to do it now as well. I've said it. If I don't do it, if I at least don't attempt it, I'm a, I'm a piece of shit, man. And that is not how it goes down. That's not how it goes down. So, yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I, 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 I probably, you can probably see here. I'm a bit excited as well by it. I'm revved up, man. I'm all revved up. And nowhere to go. But before that, we have got 60 minutes of indoor bikes complete later today. So, kaboom. Uh, that's what I mean about this week, guys. It's um, 6 p.m. when I eat and I've got no food. I was just on my bike daydreaming on the way home and just drove past the the meat shop and and the market where I ain't got meat, I ain't got I ain't got a protein sauce or any vegetables. So here we are. I've got a banana bulker next door, which. I've had a lot, or oh, I've drank a lot of smoothies this week, man. You, like, um, I'm, yeah, it's uh, it, it's been a lot. It's been a lot. Um, yeah, bless me. Um, and yeah, we've got. I've got to go somewhere now. Just quickly, just quickly. Um, and I think they'll have food, to be honest, but. I know it's going to be absolutely delicious with potentially like 15 grams of protein, which is a uh, 
Or is it? Or is it a barbecue? Let's go and find out, man. I'll just yeah, I'm just I'm just disappointed in myself. Do you know what I mean? Just like a mong dude, just dragged, just missing, just just missing stuff that I've got to do. Buy food. That's that's your that's one of your basics, that isn't it? But anyway, let's let's get let me let me get going, man. We did it guys, we got some food. It was um, mainly mainly animal fat, I feel like. There was not much meat though. But I'm sitting on a, I'm sitting on a banana bulk from Fit Bar next door. Don't forget man, you get over, you get this way. You travel, you travel, if you, in fact, if you come up here, man, I'm going to give you a smoothie on the house. I would love, yeah, like I've always said, man, I'd love, I'm still working on that, by the way, I've not forgot. Still working on getting guys out here. I'm in communication with some someone who's got a company like that. Obviously, we just, we've just finished rainy season, so hopefully... He reckons it'll be easy because obviously we've got this gym. We do do family hotel as well. We're literally like two of the main things you need to like run something like that. We've got them. So, but I appreciate it. it's not just around the corner of this place. It's not just in Thailand either. You've got to, it's literally like 40 kilometers away from the Burmese border. It's it's the randomest place, but it's great for training, as you've seen. That is frozen solid, dude. It's delicious. Absolutely delicious. I've not got a spoon ever. Obviously then, I was just eating Thai food. And we've seen that story before on this channel. What happens when you eat Thai food, then you go on the bike in the morning. It's very dangerous yet that's what's just happened fingers crossed for the bike tomorrow guys i'm gonna really try my best hopefully the bike's all good i'm just tongue punching a banana a banana bulk Could not get my back wheel back on. <laughs> Into a quick run, obviously. We're not running very far at the minute. We're just gonna do 25 minutes on the treadmill and gonna stop every I'm gonna stop as often I was as I would like just to sort of find my bearings man. Probably gonna stop every like five minutes, ten minutes, just ten ten twenty seconds just check the even saying that out loud I don't know if that's like needed but we're just taking it easy man. The running's right on the Next six weeks are very important, and we're going to um, make sure we increase the volume very slowly, dude. Good session. Um, that was difficult on the bike there. I was, I was, I think he even had a dream about going outside on the bike, which is pretty, uh, yeah, pretty, pretty hopeless, that, isn't it, man? But um, now the real training starts. We've got a call when we was on the bike, and uh, you can see me, dude. 
taking the kids to Central Shopping Shopping Centre, Shopping Mall. <sighs> Lana, Lana's fast, man. She's fast and Zila every two hours. <coughs> clockwork but that's what we train for man we train for functionality toddler chasing and we just bought it a nappy changing oh yeah to replenish the system first i think restock the glycogen stores before i chase this girl around Turns out vanilla whey doesn't blend very well for a sludge ball, so we went oat heavy. We take down some uh, sweet tarts as well. The boys, it's the boys today, ZZ Carp. Boom, 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 boom. I've got a new ideas pad, Lonnie. Can you hold it for me? Don't, don't steal it. Wink, wink. Wink, wink, Lonnie. <laughs> Just the two of us. That song is right in my head. Right in there. Right, get home. Big breakfast. Big day. Oh. Big sushi session yesterday as well, guys. That was, um... Well, we, it's a it's a basically a, a buffet where a buffet where you pay I think it's I think it works out at roughly 400 bucks they don't include the tax um, but you get unlimited sushi you get unlimited meat and vegetables so it's like it's like where you need to go to refuel recover and grow which which is good man, which is good and uh, yeah just absolutely hit it on the right day for the sushi sometimes they can they can just not deliver I don't know man, I don't know, I don't know if it's the chef or what or but some days like yesterday they was just nailing it man, they're bringing it out, I'm just boom 20 rolls restock, I'm back up Boom, 20 rolls. Hitting my protein, carbs and fats. Happy days. And then, and then just finished it off with a bit of beef and vegetables. Vegetables, so happy days, man. Well, I'm gonna clean myself up, get a shower, clean myself up, and um, attack it from there. Attack it from there, yeah. I'm just on the YouTube as we speak, man. Looking at the last video. Thanks for the comments once again. And uh, yeah, hopefully liking the longer videos. I did mention trying to do that. And I couldn't like figure out how to like make them longer without them being like a lot shitter, which we've got, we haven't got much room for making these much shitter. So, and I just, how I've done it is I used to like, say like checking, I'd never show you checking day, you know what I mean? Cause it's just me sat here, but that's part of the week, man. That's well, the main part of the week. So it, it becomes like there's not much more to show you. But I'm just my new approach is I'm just going to show you what I'm doing: training, eating, working, working, and uh, just setting up this little little station we've got. This gym and I guess smoothie shop. 
smoothie shop, man. If you'd have told me I'd have had a gym and a smoothie shop in in 40 kilometers away from a Burmese border, I'd have been like, what have I been doing then there? What's, um, how have I managed that? Um, and two kids. <laughs> I'd have said, what? What's happening then, bro? But here we are. And we'll document, I'm just gonna document what we're doing with it, man. Um, don't forget, if you subscribed, you've got a free smoothie. You've got a free smoothie. All you've got to do is get a 12 hour flight to Thailand, to Bangkok, and then get a 14 hour bus, or a flight to Chiang Rai, that's only one hour, and then get a 40 minute bus to the gym and smoothie shop. In fact, I'll even throw in a free training session as well, man. There you go. It's normally 55 baht for one session. I'd say one session, day pass. You can come here and spend all day if you want. There's not much to do, apart from train. But some of the kids I see on the CV, they just pitch up outside, man, and just get on the, the free gym Wi-Fi and just... I don't know what they're doing these days, but they're just they're hammering it, man. Fair play to them. But anyway, we will attack the today. We shall attack today. Man, I need, I need, I need a caffeine detox. Or do I? No, man. It's, uh, I'm nervous as well. Man. It's um, 20 days until Do goes back to work as well. So that's gonna be even worse. Do's been doing all the getting up at night. It's um, Lana pretty much sleeps through the night. Odd times she'll wake up just like ah, and then straight back to sleep. But <sighs> dude's gonna be back at work, man. We'll see how it goes. We'll see how it goes. But we've done it before, man. We'll do it again. It is cut. I've cut it down a little bit. I was two a day no matter what. Now I'm like two a day, three times a week, one a day for the rest. Restaurant opens tomorrow. I'm bringing my brew bags down here and I'm cutting it down. Cutting it down, man. Is anybody still out there who drinks protein powder? Anybody? Let me know, man. Sludge bowl, two tiny tight hitters and a bag of apples. Lovely, probably one of the best tasting fruit in the game, but gets in your teeth, man. Gets right in your teeth. Especially with these gnashes. For the day and I've got a couple of little bits oil <laughs> spelt someone's name wrong I might do that tomorrow to be fair man I always run out of gas I always think I can do more than I can and then I just get to the end and I'm just like I get to the end of what needs to be done and think yeah those extra little things there man are just not getting done so let me see, I might have a, I've got another, I've got another hour or so down here before bedtime, chaos, bedtime, wrestling, brush my teeth. Whew. It's, it's, it's a beautiful struggle, man, getting a toddler to bed. It's a beautiful struggle. It's, um, it's wild, man. Absolutely wild. But let's, let me just get some food. Yeah, dry as a bone, dude. We sat there all day. Boy, that's going to take hours to eat. 
I see one of the comments, man, somebody requested uh, a bit more cooking, cooking content, but honestly, it's not that, it's not that, um, it's not looking good, man. I keep it real simple, real quick. That's one of the places that I pulled my time from. Obviously, I try, I, well, I do, I tick the boxes, I make sure I hit my protein around like 180-ish grams, maybe 150, 180, whatever. I hit about a kilogram of fruit and I'm, I just change my carbs, what I'm doing in terms of training and I keep it simple, man. Keep it really simple, as you can see. As you typically see, protein oats, six eggs, and depending on what I'm doing in terms of training, oats, rice, some carbs. Last meal is just some, some meat, some vegetables, some leafy greens, and some rice. It's as simple as that, man. It's, yeah. I love the I love chefing up as much as the next man, but when you when you're wrestling a two year old to get to bed, you you need to you need quick and easy meals. You know what I mean. You can hear that man, it's absolutely nailing it down. Outdoor training is not looking good. Yes my guys, I'm just touching in real time while I'm training here man. Um, got the gigs on. Oof, look at the airline as well. Ooh, bless me eh? Whoa! No, but um, yeah, man. Just touching in about something a little bit, a little bit more serious. In the north of Thailand, here we're getting quite severe floods. My town is probably the only significantly sized town that is still not flooded. Mae Sai, Chiang Rai, quite severe floodings, man. And um, yeah, like I say, I know a, 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 at least a couple of you guys that watch me here are based in Thailand. Obviously, if you're watching me, you're probably like training, so. The company Fitway that sells the protein in Thailand, they're donating a hundred percent of their revenue to the relief in in Mesai in Chiang Rai, in the north of Thailand. So, bring your protein order forward, man, and get um yeah get a uh, get buying some protein. I'll put the put that as a, I'll put the website as the first link in the description. Um, and if you if you're outside of Thailand and you want to get involved, I've put a discount code on the program. So just just on checkout, put the north, and that will get you fifty percent off the um, off fifty percent off, and I'll send that to Fitway. The reason, obviously, I'm doing it through through Fitway is because I speak to the to the. I'm not sure. He's, he's a good friend of the CEOs. I think he's the only ambassador for the company, Mark. So I know, and I'll give you my word that we know that money's going to go to the relief, and that's a good thing. Man. I know, like. You give money to charity, etc. There's always that, like, where's it going? But these guys, legit, they're gonna send it to the relief. And uh, yeah, man, it kind of started off as like, a, as you'll see next video. I'm kind of like, nah, there's no way it's gonna, there's no way a flood's gonna disrupt my training. But yeah, it's fast forward like four or five days. Guys have been on the roof for like two days, no food. So it's getting quite, quite serious, man. So I thought if there's anything I, I can do with this little channel, my little. Um, my little space on the internet, I thought I may as well at least try. And yeah, no, like I say, only if you've got some spare dough, you know what I mean? Like, um, but yeah, I think for guys in Thailand, that's a no brainer. If you're in Thailand and you're training, you're probably at least going to be using protein. I'd recommend using creatine as well. So get on that, man. And uh, yeah, buy a couple months worth because it, it does last as well. So happy days, guys. I just thought I'd touch in, man. Enjoy the rest of the video. It's another long one. It's another long one. I'm doing longer ones. Got some good feedback, got some guys who weren't quite sure about the time. Yeah, if you can watch me on 0 0.5 times 2 speed, happy days, man. But appreciate each and every one of you watching in. If you've got any, if you want to get involved and help the guys in there, guys up here in the north, um, yeah, much appreciated, obviously. But 
enjoy the rest of the video. Thanks for watching. Drop a like for the algo. Bless you. <laughs> this is my Chinese client. Number one Chinese client. <laughs> do that, do that, do that. Bosh. Ten out of ten. Highly recommend Pepsi Orange. Little Monday treat to finish off the check ins. Again, guys, appreciate the comments on the last video. Pretty much a longer one. We've got one man, um, one man didn't quite like the length, which for 43 minutes was a bit, a bit long to edit to be fair. I'm thinking like 30 minutes. 30 minutes is a sweet spot, but let me know what you think, man. I'm open to, um, I'm in the groove. I'm in the groove of making the videos at the minute. I'm in, I'm in a nice groove, despite having, despite being busy, man. And when I say I'm busy, it's, I think you're always busy when you've got two kids. I've just accepted that. Like, you're just busy, man. You're busy. That's it. And that's just, that's just it. So, I think I'm gonna be busy for probably like the next maybe ten, maybe maybe less. Ooh. But we're going to be busy. And we've got a couple of sign-ups as well to Psy Group this week. Two guys setting them up now. And, um, yeah, the team's growing. Happy days, man. Happy days. Happy days. But look, I'm just on the... Yeah, man, I'm going to, I'm going to crack on with these setups anyway, boys. And we're going to hit some... Uh, we're going to train Mr. Yo, the guy we've employed to work next door. He's um, 17, and that's it, man. I just said to him, I'll train you under one condition. One condition that you promised me you're going to train for the next 10 years. He's 17, I'll put him at 27, and that'll put him with a world class physique. So he said he promises, man, so we'll see. He seems like an honest man as well, so just watch out for him, man. Watch out for him. Going Pony, how did first day of business go? Huh? So tired. Just got, got a lot of YouTube. Customer. A lot of customer? Yeah. You're rich. <laughs> how much? How many sales? Ten. Ten? Yeah, Whoa, wow. So one of the, oh, loads, man. How many? Six. So one of the women that's joined the gym brews beer in Laos across the river. And she's gave us, well, I guess six, 12, 24 cans, only little cans, but more than I can drink anyway. Some Laos beer. It's got a lot of Chinese writing on it, man. It's got a dragon on it. It's got no name, like, no... Sp dragon beer. Boom. Yeah, man, I'm gonna have to test this out one day. Get absolutely blitzed in here. No, I don't know when I'm gonna test it, but... No, it looks good, man. Dragon beer from Laos. Sounds dangerous, that. Huh? Sounds dangerous. To give it a test one time. 24 beers. Get revved up. Get revved up above the gym. Yeah, man. Popping an email out to the gang. Just about the scare weight, man. It's, came, it's come up a few times again this week. Scare weight doing people over, man. Just remember, guys, scare weight is like the third and least important metric. Obviously, we want to feel good. If you're starting something, especially like fat loss or getting on a new program, week one to week four, you're going to feel better, man. Just have a little step back. You've taken, you've taken some action. You're feeling better. Bang on.
ticking the box. Beyond that, it's about composition, how you're looking. Especially if you had a break from training, man, you get back into resistance training and you want to tighten things up, but you're, and you've trained in the past as well, you just prime position to add muscle tissue back. So, scale weight is going to be all over the place, man. I know it's not what you want to see when you step on the scale in the morning, but it is what it is. It becomes a good metric after, like, if you've had that break from training and you're back in the game, once you've been back in the game 12, 18 weeks, then you can start looking at your weekly averages on your scale weight, especially if you want to go into fat loss. But understand that you'll be just... And that's why we get pictures. And I know it's not always comfortable for guys to send a picture over of, of themselves when they're out of shape, but that's just the start picture, man. That's just a reference point. That's something to look back on to show like how much progress you can make. Obviously, as well, your measurements, massive one. If you see your arms growing, chest, back growing, waist coming in, but scale weights even potentially going up, happy days. We're, 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 adding, we're adding in all the right places and we're losing in all the right places. So, yeah, man, don't... Um, and, I, and I say that as well, even to this day, like, for me, if I go into, which I've not done for a while, if I go into some, like, really direct fat loss and I'm tracking everything and ticking all the boxes, I am still stepping on the scale in the morning and hoping to see it go down. It's just like a natural instinct to want to see. So don't, um, it's just a case of having that feeling and then just stepping off and being like, yeah, that's that's the feeling, doesn't mean anything. We're moving things along. I'm concentrating on that daily work, man, hitting your calorie target, your protein, and ticking off what you've got to do for that day in terms of training or cardio or whatever it is, man. So. Yeah, it's um, it's something that comes up all the time, but this last week's just been a couple of guys asking, not only in the coaching group, but in just on in DMs and stuff like that as well. And it's come up quite a few times. So I thought send it out to the guys on the email, man. If anybody's struggling and just because it can drive you insane, I know that. I know that for a fact. I've been there myself. I typically myself my own like sort of. I guess rhythm with the scale weight is just hold, 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 hold. I can hold for as long as like two weeks, no change, or even like go up, down, up, down within like 0.3 of a kilo, and then all of a sudden, boom, 1.5 kg off. That's, I don't see that too often with other guys. I've got a couple of guys where that happens, but it's not quite as common as I thought it might have been, being seen it on myself. But I've seen it all, man. I've seen it all. Every, a lot of stuff affects the scale weight, especially stress as well. If you're high stress and you're trying to go into fat loss, it's 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 not a good recipe, that man. It's um, Again, you can hold up to like, I think it's like, obviously everyone's got different capacities, but you can hold like fucking two, three kgs of turd inside you, full of shit. So just keep keep aware of that, man. And don't let it, don't let it, don't let that first step on the scale in the morning deter you and just think, well, nothing's happening. I'm going to eat a bunch of shit and, and take five steps backwards. Yeah, man, I've just got to put all that into a readable email. With my literacy levels of a seven-year-old. <laughs>